a story Mama used to say I'll read you a story At the end of day And now for story time Children of the day Mama used to say It's time for Tata story time <laughs> Uh, ah, hi, I'm Lucien, and welcome to Tata Storytime. Shall we read a really cool book? It's called Chicken in the Kitchen by Nedi Okorafo and Merdot Amini. Are you ready? Yeah, come on then. It was late at night. A noise had woken a Hugo. She climbed out of bed and crept quietly towards the kitchen. Oh my, whispered a Hugo. What was she going to do? There was a giant chicken in the kitchen. It was going to spoil the food her mother and aunties had cooked for the new yam festival the next day. She had to do something. said the chicken, happily. The New Yam Festival marked the beginning of the harvest season. It was a time for being thankful, dancing, seeing friends and family, and, of course, eating lots of yams. Ayugo couldn't let the chicken ruin the yam dishes in the fridge. <laughs> what is wrong with it? Ayugo wondered. The chicken was causing a lot of mischief. Ayugo wished she knew where her friend the woodwit was. He was a nature spirit. He would know what to do. Ayuko tried to muster up some courage. I'm going to just tell it to leave. Or maybe not. It was time to get help from the woodwit. Where is it? Ayuko wondered. The woodwit could travel through anything made of wood. It could be almost anywhere. Maybe it was playing outside in the coconut trees. If so, she would never be able to find it. Are you in there? Ayugo called. There you are, Ayugo said. There you are, the wood witch said. It laughed. <laughs> you have a chicken in your kitchen and you want to get rid of it? <laughs> How do you know? I know everything the wood knows, the wood witch said. Ayugo didn't understand what the wood witch meant, but that didn't matter. The wood witch was always saying odd things like that. Will you help me? Sure. I love being helpful. It looks quite annoyed, the wood witch said. Whatever have you done to it? I didn't do anything, Ayugo insisted. How can I make it leave? Uh, ask it, the wood witch said. But uh, ask it in... Chickenese. But I don't speak Chickenese, cried Ayugo. Eh, say, bok, bok, clock, the woodwitch suggested. But you have to say it just right. <laughs> it burst out laughing, amused with itself. Ayugo lifted her chin, clenched her fists, and said, Hello. The chicken flashed the sunniest, shiniest, sweetest smile Ayugo had ever seen. Then the woodwit began to hum. It sounded like three voices and a soft drumbeat. It was with the sound of the drumbeat that Ayugo understood. How had she not guessed it? This was more than a chicken. Buck, buck, it said softly. 
It was asking her to dance. Later that night, when Ayugo finally went to bed, she smiled to herself. Her father had told her about the powerful masquerade spirits that came to participate in the New Yam Festival. Masquerades visited the community during festivals, ceremonies and events. Some were spirits of the elements, like the land and water. Others were ancestors returning to dance, showing that death was a natural part of life. This one must have come for a midnight snack. At the new yam festival the next day, Ayugo ate several yam dishes and saw some of the biggest yams she had ever seen. But though she watched many wonderful masquerades perform, she did not see the chicken masquerade among them. Until... <laughs> the end. Chicken in the kitchen. Wow. Did you enjoy that? I really did. It seems to me there's magic everywhere you look, if only you're brave enough to dig. My name is Lucien. Hope you enjoyed Tata Storytime. <laughs> Chickenies. <laughs> if you enjoy that story, hit subscribe, like, and share with all your friends. See you soon. It's time for Tata Story Time. Hey, boy.